Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, as you can see, we got our Iron Diobots Sever FT06. And uh, this is from Fans Toys. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know I've already got some of these toys. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get into a little bit of the Masterpiece Transformers as well as uh, these third-party Transformers. Um, for all intents and purposes, we'll just call this Slag because it's, you know, their homage to Slag. So let's take a look at the box. I already got it out of its packaging. Really nice. I like that. Get a little tiny reflection right there of myself and the camera. Look at that. Let's see what we got here. Uh, just typical stuff. Same thing on that side. Oh, that's nice. Look at that right there. That's a good shot right there. I like that. And the front. Very nice. It would probably look even nicer if you didn't have my reflection here, but oh well. So, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Adjust the camera here. Get this little tag off. Oh, that's very nice, you know. Tag came off, no damage. Which, you know, I used to be a toy collector, so taking the tape off of something, that was real important. So they probably use these special labels to not cause any damage for the collectors out there. And we got a really bad reflection right there. Let's uh, try and change that. There we go. A little bit better. Well, not much. All right, that'll be better. Uh, and unfortunately, unfortunately, you might be able to hear this, but I got a neighbor out there with his leaf blower. So hopefully you won't hear too much of it, but this is one of those uh, types of people that would rather spend 30, 40 minutes with their leaf blower cleaning up rather than, you know, five minutes with a broom. But back to the toy. All right, let's take this off. Get the box out of here. Instructions. Nice. Definitely be probably needing knees when I transform him. Of course, by the time I release this video, I'm sure there's going to be tons of videos already on this product. And they're all going to be a lot more better than mine. A little card. I always like these things. Nice little extra. Instructions. Instructions. Very nice. Good, good quality instructions, you know. Uh, how much does this thing cost? Um, well, let me check. Got the receipt over here someplace. Uh, okay. Just so if you're ever thinking of buying these types of items, you can get an idea. One ninety nine ninety nine, a little less than ten bucks for shipping. So yeah, I'm only gonna get a few more of uh, these types of figures, official and third party, but that's another story. So, now, i got to open this thing, and it's got this tape on all four sides. So, let me get something to remove that. I'm in my bedroom right now. Probably about the best place to film. should do it all 
Now the last figure, you know, um, third party figure I had was uh, the Megatron um, Apollyon. I think that's how you say his name. But this one, ooh, very nice. Look at that. That is beautiful. Let me just adjust the camera. I don't have a nice fancy setup, but very nice. Got some extras here, which are ah, uh, face. Some little extra tidbits. Got his sword. His gun. Now, let's get the figure itself. Oh my god, this thing is heavy. Very good quality. It's like a heavy plastic. Take a look right there. The reason that, you know, I like these things, which, why are there tires on there? <laughs> it looks like tires right there. Very funny. Um, oh, I see. Very nice. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, one of the reasons why I like these toys is, you know, when I was a kid, Transformers was my number one toy and my number one cartoon. I loved those. I just couldn't get enough of it. And, hold on, kind of losing my train of thought. You know, I, I liked the Transformer toys, always bought them whenever I could, asked for them for uh, Christmas gifts, birthday gifts. And the one thing that always sucked is the toys, at times, were not as cool as the cartoon in terms of shape and design. So the Dinobots, those, those were pretty cool. But this just takes it to the next level. So, I mean, look at that. So let me go ahead and, uh, well, let me pose them in various poses and, uh, you know, then we'll transform them. Okay, so here we are and you can see the wide amount of articulation this guy has just like other figures lots of uh, movement and posability is possible I mean that, that that's really nice this is one thing that of course generation one toys never had but let me just move him back up here you know just look at the possibilities. You can see how wide this guy is. Very true to the design of the character. You know, nice, big, bulky, burly. Um, look at that. I mean, just the possibilities are awesome. Again, don't expect too much from this video, but now I'm going to go ahead and transform this guy. So I'll be back and we'll see what he looks like in dino mode. Okay, so here we are, and as you can see, it's in dino mode. Really, really nice figure. Nice heavy plastic, doesn't seem to be as much uh, metal as the slag figure, still very nice. Got a little paint rubbing right there on his foot, well, his foot in robot mode, but still, I'm real happy with it. Take a look at it. Very huge. Let me try and uh, adjust the camera here a little bit.
Very nice. Nice set of uh, articulation in dyno mode also. The head can't really do too much. Kind of just sits down there. But you can move it left and right. Jaw moves. So, yeah, there you go. I'm going to set this with my other Dinobots. And hopefully, you know, not too much longer, I'll, I'll have the whole set from Fans Toys. So, just a quick video. You know, if you're interested in these things, you get them at toy shops. I particularly get my stuff at uh, Big Bad Toy Store. So, you know, it is what it is. Some people, it's not worth it. If you think about it, I could probably got, buy an arcade for what I paid for this thing. But it is what it is. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.